Happy 24th Anniversary Final Fantasy VII. The game was originally released on January 31st, 1997 in Japan. It is officially 24 years old, which is kind of nuts considering how old it is and how strong the longevity of the game is in terms of the story and characters exciting the players back in 1997 and still doing so to this day. So let's celebrate by talking some news, predictions, and speculations. Please beware of spoilers. If you haven't played the original or you don't want the story spoiled for you, this this is your official spoiler alert, so let's get odd. The Computer Entertainment Developers Conference and Kyushu 2020 online event started on January 30th, 2021. A lot of the news came out by way of Audrey on Twitter, whose account is Itaiki Mochi. And there's been a bit of news, but in this video, I want to focus in on a couple of things. Producer Yoshinori Katasi stated that the team wants to develop a game that not only lives up to the fans' expectations, but also throws them off in a good way. Another interesting post from Audrey is this one where she writes that Kitase literally says the phrase a betrayal with a good meaning. Again, this could mean anything, but in honor of Final Fantasy VII's 24th anniversary, let's just kind of throw some bold predictions out there. But my thoughts go back to Ever Crisis. A few weeks ago, the news came out that new trademarks became public from Square Enix, including Ever Crisis, and a lot of players' initial thought is that it could be related to Crisis Core and or potentially tie into the character of Zack Fair. A lot of speculations brewed. Ever Crisis could be the name of Final Fantasy VII Remake Part Two a remake of Crisis Core, a potential new spin-off, or something completely different and perhaps unrelated, but hopefully not. So what do we know? We know that towards the end of Remake Part 1, there was some significant and lengthy cutscenes that were taken directly from Crisis Core. There was that weird cutscene that led people to speculate that Zack could potentially be alive. Will Zack be alive for Part 2 of the remake? Are there different timelines? Will time travel be involved? Here's what I think. I don't think Zack is alive, and I don't think time travel will be involved. I think Part 2 might be called Final Fantasy VII Remake Ever Crisis, and it could heavily incorporate the character of Zack Fair and the story of Crisis Core. Or instead of Ever Crisis being the name of Part 2, it could be a significant DLC delving into that story of Crisis Core. But just like Remake Part 1, I don't think it's going to be a one-for-one, -one, shot-for-shot remake of Crisis Core. They already laid the foundation down for Remake Part 1, so technically by the time Remake Part 1 starts, with Cloud on the train meeting up with Avalanche, Zack has already died. No one knows how Remake Part 2 is going to start. It could possibly start with the Nibelheim flashback, but what if they went further back? So in regards to the recent event and the news, the quotes like, throw players off but in a good way, or betrayal with a good meaning. I think what this could possibly mean is that Zack is alive because part 2 of the remake, or a DLC, could start with a lengthy flashback, delving into the story of Zack. So at the end of remake part 1, when we see Zack carrying Cloud, I don't think that indicates that Zack is all of a sudden alive. I just think that it's very possible that part 2 of the remake, or again, a separate DLC, could involve Zack's story into a significant flashback. That's what I think the meaning is behind those types of phrases. But also, Crisis Core really told told a lot of the backstory with a lot of clarity. The fun of the original Final Fantasy VII is discovering Cloud's clouded mind and his identity crisis caused by Mako poisoning. So I think they will delve into some elements of Crisis Core up to a certain point. And the developers will definitely have to figure out a way to combine the story of Crisis Core and give us just enough information to keep the true story of Cloud in the dark. If they reveal the whole story of Crisis Core up front, well, that just wouldn't be as much fun. Cloud needs to go on his journey, with Tifa helping put his mind back together. So it's interesting to think about what kind of balancing act the developers are aiming for. I think they included Zack at the end of Remake Part 1 for a very purposeful reason, and that could potentially tie in with the name Ever Crisis. When I think of the phrase betrayal with a good meaning, it's an oxymoron. Final Fantasy VII Remake is awesome, but it came with a lot of surprises. What better way to betray fans with a good meaning than to remake Crisis Core and heavily incorporate that story into part 2 of the remake? Zack wouldn't be alive per se, but he would be alive in a sense because you would get to control his character and relive that tragedy all over again. But again, no one knows for sure, these are all just fun predictions, speculations, and 
theories that I've been enjoying talking about and I hope you enjoy talking about as well. So definitely let me know in the comments what are your thoughts on the recent news and if these ominous slash cryptic quotes could have any connection to Ever Crisis, what are your speculations? For other videos from Odd Drummer Gaming, click or tap the screen. If you like this video, hit that like button. It helps the video and the channel out. You can follow along on the socials at odd underscore drummer. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see more content like this. Stay odd and keep on playing.